Now, Gabe Newell from Valve, who is also very well known as Lord Gaben, is now basically creating something called as Brain Computer Interface Technology, which is going to allow video games far beyond what human meat peripherals can comprehend. Now, you guys might have already seen this from the video's title. It's not of a surprise. Now, Brain Interface, uh, a new virtual reality, which is going to be taking input from your brain is actually coming sooner than we expect. Now, apparently Valve is currently working on making this happen. And it seems like the project is already a very huge success. And this device is currently in use. So the developers are currently using this device in order to create a next gen level of gaming. So what this basically does is that when you're playing video games, you can basically imagine the graphics that you want. You can basically imagine whatever you want and you will see those things happen in the game. Now I do understand it is a very hard thing to even imagine that this sort of thing could happen in the future, but it seems like we're not very far away and Gaben has given us a lot of information about how this headset is going to be working. It's currently in a testing phase and so far it's been working so good as far as what Gabe has said. So Newell says that Valve is currently working on an open source BCI software project, allowing developers to begin to interpret the signals being read from people's brains using hardware like modified VR virtual reality helmets. That's some crazy stuff right here. Now, at first, when I heard this news, I was like, dude, this is far away in the future. There is no way we can actually play video games using our brains as a CPU. Like you don't need consoles, you don't need PCs or whatever. You can simply just use your brain instead of graphics cards, instead of CPUs and whatnot. Your brain is going to be the PC. Now there's also some very interesting stuff that Gabe has said and he has also mentioned this headset right here is currently being tested in their lab and he says that it seems to be working as expected but still they're not going to launch it anytime soon as uh, they still want to add in a lot of different things into this to make it as realistic as possible. The data will generally consist of readings from the player's body and brain, which can be used to tell if players are excited, surprised, sad, bored, amused, and afraid, amongst many other emotions. So the game can basically know if you're sad or if you're angry or if you're bored or whatnot. So all of your emotions are going to be recognized by this artificial intelligence thingy that you wear on your head so apparently this headset has the ability to read your mind and also alter the game according to whatever personalized settings that you want or at least what your brain feels like the readings can be used by developers to improve immersion and personalize what happens during games like turning up the difficulty a bit if the system realizes the player is getting bored Neville also discussed the near future reality of being able to write signals to people's minds. Now, Gaben basically says that after you've played video games using the BCI, this helmet technology, whatnot, the real world will seem flat, colorless, blurry compared to the experience you'll be able to create in people's brain. So you can basically create experiences inside your brain using this device. Now, where things starts getting weird is that whenever you become a character in a game, your brain is absolutely editable. You can just make your brain think some things that are not actually real. So at the moment, people accept their feelings or just how they feel. But Newell says that BCIs will soon allow the editing of these feelings digitally, which could be as easy as using an app. So basically, Human Sleep will become an app that you can run wherever and whenever you want. And you can basically set a timer on how long you want your brain to just shut down and go to sleep and then uh, wake up once again. So your brain is basically going to turn into this computer where you can basically put it to sleep. You can just shut it off and you can turn it back on whatever you want. You can basically alter your brain as you desire. Now, yes, all of these things do kind of sound cool and whatnot, but there is one thing that Gaben actually said, one feature that actually made me shit my pants. So uh, this device is able to kind of like operate those tentacle features. And what this basically does is that this can actually cause a physical pain in human body. Now, even if there is no actual physical pain in your body, your brain can actually make you think that you actually do have a broken bone or whatever. So Gaben here says that in the future, the BCIs could potentially be used to cause people physical pain, even pain beyond their physical bodies. 
Now, this could also be used in video games. Now, game developers might harness that function to make a player feel the pain of the character that you're playing as in the game. But of course, it's not going to cause any sorts of injuries to your physical body. But we don't really know about your brain. Your brain might basically die out as well. So that's that's one huge risk of having a most realistic gaming experience, I guess. But then he also says that the pain you could experience could also be beyond tolerance point. So that is one thing that can also be controlled in the game as well. So it's up to the players to choose if you really want to die or if you just want to feel like you're dying so so that is one technology that this this headset apparently allows you to experience and you can basically turn up the graphic settings and make everything look much more realistic than the actual real life itself and of course this is a work in progress project and i believe that this is going to be coming out in the next 10 years and gaming is going to be something else dude like i don't know how many of you guys have seen this movie called as ready player one where the movie is basically about video games the virtual reality kind of thing where the entire world is playing video games where they have these body suits which kind of makes you feel what you feel in the in the game and whatnot but looking at this new technology it seems like we're not even going for a body suit dude this is basically just altering your brain in order to feel some physical interactions some physical pains and if i have to be honest i'm extremely scared to even imagine what the future of gaming is going to be like there's no way i'm going to be converting myself into a cyborg to have a realistic gaming experience